What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 servers shutting down. Let's get right into this. So the reason that I'm making this video is basically to talk about the PlayStation 4 servers shutting down. Recently I did make a video a couple months ago talking about the Nintendo 3DS servers shutting down. That sparked the idea for me to talk about the PlayStation 3 servers shutting down because I honestly feel within the next five years that the PlayStation 3 servers will be shutting down. And then whenever I uploaded that video I had a lot of people commenting asking about the PlayStation 4 servers, how long we have, and a whole bunch of questions. So that's why I decided to make this video. So as of right now, as expected, Sony has not announced anything regarding the PlayStation 4 servers shutting down, and I wouldn't expect that to happen for at least about 10 years. And the reason for that is because the PlayStation 3 servers are still active. Now, we do see that more and more games individually are closing their online servers for those specific games for older titles on the PlayStation 3. However, the online servers for the PlayStation 3 as a whole are still active, and until Sony closes the PlayStation 3 servers, there is no need to alarm yourself for the PlayStation 4 servers shutting down. Like I said, I expect the PlayStation 3 servers to be at least within the next five years to be permanently closing down, and that leaves us a longer time for the PlayStation 4 servers because games are still being uploaded on the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 5 is still not readily available to everybody. Some people are still struggling to find a PlayStation 5. I know it took me two years since its release to finally hunt one down and get one, and I know these struggles. So since people are still struggling to get the PlayStation 5, there's no need to alarm yourself until the PlayStation 3 servers shut down, which in my opinion is going to be another five years. The PlayStation 4 servers are likely still going to be active for about another 10 years because first of all, the PlayStation 3 servers are still active. I expect them to close within another five years, but until they do, there is no need to alarm yourself with the PlayStation 4 servers. You also have the fact that the PlayStation 5 is still not readily available to everybody. It is still hard to get, and until you can just go into a store and purchase the PlayStation 5, there is no need to even talk about the PlayStation 4 servers shutting down. Again, I expect the PlayStation 4 servers to still be up for about another 10 years, at least until the PlayStation 6 is already released, and possibly whenever the PlayStation 7 is at least announced. Around that time is when I expect the PlayStation 4 servers to permanently shut down, but literally, you have years and years left to still play your PlayStation 4. Since there's a lot of people that can't get their hands on the PlayStation 5, they they still play their PlayStation 4 and games are still being released on the PlayStation 4, everything is still being updated on the PlayStation 4, and there has been no questions and no talk about Sony shutting down anything regarding to PlayStation 4, you still have nothing to worry about until they make an official announcement. But like I said, they're not going to say anything until the PlayStation 3 is already dealt with. Now the PlayStation 3 closing its servers is going to be a sad day for gamers because that is the first of its generation for how online gaming is today. It really opened up the door for an online shop to go and play with your friends online in the online chats. And before that, the PlayStation 2, you could get online, but nothing like the PlayStation 3. So whenever that does close, it's going to be a sad day. But PlayStation 4 servers, I'm going to say this one more time, are not going to be shutting down at least for another 10 years. So hopefully everybody that was commenting on my last video about the PlayStation 3 servers can at least put to rest everything that they were asking about the PlayStation 4 servers. Sony hasn't announced anything and I doubt that they will for a very long time. To me, I didn't really feel like I needed to make this video, but since so many people were commenting on my PlayStation 3 server shutting down video, I decided to make this one because to me, it's just crazy to think about since the PlayStation 3 is still active, why would they ever shut down the PlayStation 4 servers before the PlayStation 3 servers? That made no sense, but since I had a lot of questions, I decided to make this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave this one here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.